Good morning. What's up, guys? It is uh, 6 12 uh, New Mexico time. It's like 7 12 here in Texas. Um, I'm in Amarillo, hanging out with my buddy Michael. Chilled, stayed the night here. Uh, today is a very big day. Very, very big day. We're going to go hit the dyno here in a few hours, try and make 500 horsepower. Um, I got to Amarillo last night. Michael, thank you. He had gotten me some. Uh, um, E85, I put in probably a half a tank's worth, did some logs and stuff, went and playing around. The car feels freaking ridiculous. Like, it feels so, so good. Um, doing the E85 calculator online, it should have came out to about E52 if the ethanol that he gave me was E85. Um, doing the logs and stuff with Frank, he wants more octane, so I'm going to go and put some 100 octane. They have that at the pump here in Amarillo. It's about 20 minutes from here. So I'm going to go run over there, put in $20 worth of 100 octane, uh, drive a little bit, get him a log. Uh, my dyno session is at 10 in the morning, so i got about two and a half hours or so um, of time for tuning before I head over there. And I'm starving, so and I want a Red Bull. <laughs> so I'm going to go knock a few things out, uh, talk to you guys along the way, show you guys how much, I think it's like $8 a gallon, I'm pretty sure, but... We're gonna go find out. I'm tired. I only literally only slept. What time is it here? Maybe four and a half hours. And yesterday I only slept from like eight to one. So I'm pretty exhausted. Now I'm pretty much about to be up for 24 hours because this event doesn't. The eliminations tonight doesn't start till 6:30 at night. And it's probably gonna go to like two in the morning because there's over 1,100 people saying they're going. And. Uh, it's just going to be a really, really long day, but uh, th this part in the dyno will be one video, and then tonight's shenanigans will be another video, and then depending on what goes on after the event and how late that is, that'll be a third video. So potentially three videos out of just today, it's going to be a busy day. I'm already tired, like I said, so I need to go get me a NOS and then probably a Red Bull for later. So I'll pick up with you guys at the gas station. All right, here we are. Frank said to use the 110. They're the same price. Uh, so for this one has ethanol, this one does not, but I already have plenty of ethanol in the car. So here we are. First time putting actual real race gas in the car. I apologize for the wind. We just got to Proven. They're not here yet. I'm letting the car cool off a little bit. Frank sent me another revision. Um, turned the ignition timing or the fuel slider to 96 now I think um, the car feels like super duper good it's kind of ridiculous I'm, I'm, I'm assuming because it's set at 27 psi right now and last time we went up to 29 on the slider I think and my boost gauge reads a little bit different than what the sliders and what the logs are I don't know what the difference is because in the logs it reads it from the uh, the put sensor which is on the uh is pressure up upstream throttle which is on the charge pipe and my boost gauge is on the manifold so there's kind of like a different difference going on there either way i still have like two pounds to play with on there and then whatever more timing or whatever he wants to do so there's a lot of room i think right now as it sits my official first guess for the first one will be I don't know. I'm going to go with like 490 and 440 torque. That's what I'm guessing. And then we'll see that. We will probably add an octane, add a pound of boost, and then probably hit 500 on the second run is my my guess. Um, so I need, to, I need to check my plug gap. I could do it right now. It's kind of hot. I don't know how much time I really have until they show up. I just want to make sure that they're gapped, gapped good, but... Uh, that's all I got, got left. Just hoping we'll crack that 500 and then all the shit going on tonight. My car is not really liking me right now, going from, from two to three, no lift shift. So I changed out fluid last night and I haven't tried it since yet. I'll wait till after the dyno runs and stuff, but 
hopefully that issue's fixed. If not, I'll have to do like regular shifting from two to three, which is very weird for me. I'm like so accustomed to doing no lift shift. I've been doing it since like 2013 and there was like quite a bit of time with this car when I didn't have no lift shift when I would still do it because I was still like, my brain is just set to, to keep that foot on the pedal when I'm shifting at full throttle or you know, racing. So we'll see how tonight goes. There's gonna be a lot of freaking people. It's gonna be a long, long day. It's gonna get really, really hot. And you have to wear pants if you're racing at the track. Whew. All right, car is set up. As I said this first run will be 27 pounds with octane set at I think 96 we said to, to put it down one and we'll run it and if we want to we'll add a pound or a degree so we'll see kind of nervous but you can tell like in the car it is a completely different just from that little bit of ethanol like it kind of blows my mind like I said it's like over double timing so we'll see here what the first graph looks like the car kind of moved on the dyno so we're gonna redo it obviously a um, little bit of air out of the tires just in case but um, it's at 464 and 287 so it should be definitely way higher than that <laughs> Top numbers there, 466 and 406. That's what we just ran. And then the, the best run from the last time that we came on pump gas was 447 and 421. Now, the boost difference is, is two pounds. So I still have two more pounds to go on the ethanol file. So we might get up, I'd say, maybe 20 or so more horse uh, as we turn it up. But as you can see, the way it holds the power, and more torque at the end on both so i like it i like it i like it colors are way different so the what are we looking at here the very bottom one we're we'll looking at black and green here you can see the black the top so we're looking at so I just sent that log to Frank as well this will be yeah one more run left for the day holy crap it's zoomed in 
and we'll see um, if he wants to make any changes. Maybe he'll send another file, I'll flash that. We've just been playing with sliders right now. Let's see what he says, but I'm happy. I'm happy with the way it is. Like, I know we're trying to make 500, but this is, I mean, we're damn near close. Um, you get like a, what's it called, the torque bite, fuel controller, fuel pump controller. And I'll be able to run full E. I could definitely make 500 or more. I definitely, I'm not trying to hurt the motor at all, so that's why we're keeping the, the torque low. Keep that down 420-ish, which we've been staying around, so that's good. Um, so what we picked up so far, almost 30 horse. So I think we can maybe pick up 10 more. We'll see what he says. I'm pretty sure my phone just rang uh, from him, so we'll see. I'm a very happy camper, and tonight we'll be going out doing that eighth mile stuff, so we'll see how she actually performs. On the street, it's a totally different feeling car. Like, I the numbers honestly would be a little bit higher, but with the VA and the community and all that shit, it's whatever. I just wanna make sure that that torque number isn't isn't ridiculous, so we're looking good. We're looking really good. Just to be totally transparent, I took the top off the intake, maybe squeeze a couple more horse puppies. My filter is extremely dirty. I didn't realize it was that dirty after not even 3,000 miles, so excuse me there, but we're gonna turn up one more pound, one more pound with the intake top off, and we'll see what she makes. Like I said it made 471, 416 on that second run, so we'll see. Maybe wait a little bit longer here, let it cool off, and we'll go. Oh, and the DA today is this. We got 6,000, surprisingly. We got some cloudy skies. Hopefully it stays cloudy all day because I don't want to be sweating my ass off at the drag strip. But, uh, man, 6,000. Static altitude is 3,500. Where I live is about a 800 feet higher than this, so. Boom. And so, ah, oh, it's not working now. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I got it to work. guys we're looking at 483 427 I am very very happy with this very very happy as a 29 pounds so I still have plenty more to go I could probably safely ish turn this to like 32 ish pounds was that like three more pounds um, but the torque as you see went up to 427 like I said I want to keep the torque around 420 so from here you know I could come back with more EE and more pump and turn it up a bit more and then do you know a little more retuning to get keep that torque number down a little more um but it's good like i can guarantee if i turn it up two more pounds we're doing what like about six what was that okay we did 466 471 483 so we're about 10 horsepower per uh pound so i turn up two more pounds to 31 and with ricer math it would make 500 so but the torque would go up as well like i said um if i need to you know during money runs or whatever sorry it's so dark i, I would turn it up to like 30 31 if it's worth it you know like tonight there's a thousand dollars on the line uh, for first place and then on top of that you get a thousand dollar ceramic coat from one of the local places for first place in my class as well so there's a lot going on um, yeah, it's shit. Shout out to Frank. Frank's fucking doing the thing. I mean, this is E50 mixed with, or E85 mixed with 91 at this shitty altitude. Uh, man, yeah, Frank's doing doing the shit though. I'm very happy, very, very happy. I think with just a little bit of meth or just a couple more pounds, like easily 500, but this is good. Remember, I'm not here to chase numbers. This is an autocross car, but uh, in terms of drag racing and money related things and that, sector of racing uh this is very good very good and I, I turn it way down for autocross anyway like I, I really don't even need this i'm just pressing my luck is all i'm doing but it's fun you know we break shit we fix shit we race shit i can't complain at all 
And that was the end. It's 100 bucks for three runs. If I had four runs, I, I would have maybe turned it up a little bit more, but this is good. Almost, almost 500 wheel. I'm not gonna complain at all. I'm gonna get up this uh, final run up against the final run on 91 so we can compare that real quick. here back at Michael's shop after the dyno obviously sorry for the fan noise uh, it's hot it's getting really warm I'm stuck wearing pants but I'm extremely happy with the car don't get me wrong I might not look all that excited uh, I haven't really slept I slept like three or four hours last night like four hours the night before and not much the night before that it's been a very busy week with life and work and race car shit clearly <laughs> but uh like I said, one, not even two pounds, like a one and a half pounds more, I would have made 500 uh, corrected. Now, shout out to Derek for pointing that out to me. My brain's a little mush. Uh, technically, at this altitude and shit, I'm not even making that much power, so I could have just bumped it to say 30, 31, and seen that 500 at this, or you know, corrected or whatever. So what I'm worried about is torque. I don't want torque. To, to break my rods or something. I'm not ready to do internals on the motor just yet. So I have to wait till after the deployment, probably this time next year really, uh, will be the built bottom end. I want to get a built top end um, at the beginning of 2020. But anyway, shout out to Frank, shout out to Ed, shout out to freaking everybody that's helped me out, especially Michael and Brandon and James and everybody. Just everybody. Uh, you guys show me a lot of love here on the channel too, in the comments, on like Facebook and Instagram. I really appreciate it. And really, I mean, for power-wise, the setup is, is simple. You got a fuel kit, a turbo, and a tune. And that's really all, all that it comes down to. All my other mods are pretty much uh, for autocross and stuff. And if I do decide to autocross with ethanol, which now I'm really tempted to, uh, you know, ethanol it isn't just race fuel. It, you know, you got cooler temps, cooler cylinder temps, and it's technically safer for racing of local pump gas, whatever. Um, but if I do decide to get a barrel at the house and run E for autocross and all that, I'll have to turn it down, like, probably like 24 pounds, uh, just to keep it around 400 or so, at least until I get used to the car. As I add more mods, you know, I gotta, like, relearn how to enter and exit and throttle play and, and all that, so. There's a lot of learning to do still. We'll see next weekend when we're back up here for autocross and see how she feels. I'll probably get some E just to see how it is. It's a nighttime event too, so air intake temps should be real low. Uh, you know, the ground won't be real hot, so I'll probably run a little bit more air pressure and see if I can get that ass in and kick out like I was talking about in the last video. Um, but yeah, just like I said, a bit, again, big shout out to Frank for dealing with my bullshit. We started doing ethanol, like I think, Thursday morning, yeah, Thursday morning, and now here we are, you know, Saturday morning, Dinah with it. You know, he's back to back with tunes for me, revisions, all that. My boy Philly is starting uh, E tuning today on his as well. He's putting a high pressure fuel pump, uh, so engine mounts and stuff. He should be up here tonight. I'm really excited to see how he does on the eighth mount. But I'm gonna close the video out here and start recording the next video. I'm about to bleed the clutch, check the spark plugs. Uh, we got things to do here on the Evo as well. He just put in a bunch of a bunch, and I mean a bunch of shit. I'm not gonna uh, let everybody know what's going on with his car. It's kind of a secret ish, but it, their car is fucking ridiculous. So we got a lot of shit to do. The track opens up in like an hour or two. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the club.